You want to learn a little bit more? Okay. The topic is the right setting of the parameters for an impact measurement to get certain frequency resolution, all this stuff, the sampling rate, block size, how that this cope together, okay? Here's the theory and we do it later on, on practical on the, comp on, the, on the computer and then you get it, all right? Um, we measure a signal, can look like this, for example. And if this is one second, then this is a two hertz signal. So how long should I watch this to analyze, to see that this is a two hertz signal? Actually, when it starts here, it's going up and down, up again. It's enough to just watch until this point, because from here on, it's just exactly the same. It's a copy. So it's enough if I just record or analyze 0.5 seconds of measuring time, okay? Then I realize this is a two hertz signal. That's enough, all right? If there are higher values in there, some higher frequencies, yeah, they all fit in there so I can analyze them as well. So starting from two hertz, all the other seconds which have higher frequency will be sorted in a two hertz grid, okay? You have two hertz, four hertz, six hertz, you have a two hertz resolution. If we have a signal, maybe this is just one hertz, and I use the same block for analyze it, we cannot estimate what this frequency is about. We need at least one time a complete cycle. So to get one hertz inside, we need the full second, one second recording. That means if we record for one second, we can separate one hertz. And all the higher frequency which are in there can be separated in one hertz, okay? If we work digitally, and we do this in digitally, we have to analyze the signal by sampling it. That means I tell him a certain sampling rate, maybe 1,000 times in a second, he should write down all these values from the signal, okay? This is my sampling rate, and then I can choose, if this is my block I like to have, um, then I need 500 of these samples, that means we get 0.5 seconds recording time, and this leads to 2 hertz frequency resolution. Uh, maybe this is not your setting. Then you can check, okay, I need a higher frequency resolution. Then you may select 1,000 samples. That means you have a block length of one second, and that means you have one hertz frequency resolution. Or, to go to extreme, we take 2,000 samples, okay, that would mean yeah, we measure two seconds and then you have 0.5 frequency resolution, okay? I think you got this now, okay? Just the inverse worth of the time of your block length, then you got your frequency resolution, okay? This is a sentence to remind. Depending on the sampling rate you have, you can choose by setting a certain block length the time of your recording, of the analysis, and therefore your frequency resolution, okay? I show this in practice now, and there is another important thing to check out, um, then you got it all, okay? So let's check this in practice. I have a tube with an accelerometer on it, and here is my setting. So here I have a fixed sampling rate of 8192 samples per second. Sounds like a strange number, but this is our digital friend like these numbers which are 2 power by 2 power 13 will be this number. You can choose, of course, other values, but this is something he likes. Um, at the same time, I have a block size of exactly the same value, 8192 samples for one block to analyze. And this leads to a recording time, of course, of one second. And this leads, at the same moment, to a frequency resolution of one hertz. Okay, if I change my block size now to maybe going from that to, to two way down, so it's just a quarter of it, our recording time will be 0.25 and our hertz resolution will be 4 hertz, okay, like I said before. Otherwise around, if I go to higher and bigger block sizes, from here one to four times bigger, our recording time will be 4 seconds and we get a resolution of a quarter of a hertz. Now it's fine. Ah, I got it now. Stop. Okay? These parameters, to set these, is not just about frequency resolution. There's another thing we have to keep in focus, and that is even more important than your frequency resolution. It's the time your object needs to calm down. Okay? And this depending strictly on your object, on the damping of the object. Okay? This object, for example, 
With this setting, which leads to one second of recording time, our signal of the accelerometer comes down in the beginning and comes down completely here at about one second. It's silent again, okay? This is a good setup. If I shorten the time here to a quarter of it, we will cut the signal here hardly at this point. That means we didn't listen to the full answer. We get energy with our impact hammer in there. We measured that and then we listen what's coming out of that again and this we are compare. Uh, this gives the transfer function. If you just don't listen to the end, there will be a mistake. I show it just to get you an idea how this looks like, okay? So, wrong setting, short setting. And as we can see here, the signal is not recorded till the end, okay? This will create some errors. To avoid the worst situation, our software automatically creates a window and to, to damp down the signal to zero in the end. But this is an artificial way. You know? It's an extra damping. You have to recalculate again out of this out again. So if you have the chance, don't go this way. Okay? You see, oh, I cut my signal. It's not long enough. So I go for a longer situation here. This was perfect. Uh, maybe four times of the right setting. And again, I hit it here. four seconds recording time and look how this looks like. So again, our signal drops down to zero at about yeah, here, at about one second, it's completely dead. And then the rest of the time, the another three seconds, just nothing. You just record noise. And of course, your analysis will not be better if you put a lot of noise in that record, okay? You lose your quality. So make sure you just get a good cutting that at the point when the signal comes down, there should be the end of your block, okay? I think you now got the idea what to check out with all these parameters. Keep in mind, keep all the block in there, have an information about the frequency resolution. You can try and find your perfect setting. It's not that difficult. Just go out and try yourself. And if you have a question, just contact us. Okay.